commentated before? Uh, I've commentated a couple times, right, mostly good. around locals. And uh, we got to give the real guys a break. They've been going at this for what, 48 hours now plus. Yeah, so. Yeah. Good for them, man. I don't have that kind of energy anymore. All right, so here's the rules to commentating with me. Okay. I only know how to commentate when somebody edge hogs. You have to take care of the rest. All right, I can do All that. All right, so yeah. when there's a little edge going, uh, I'll take over there. All right. I love me some Smash, so I can talk about it forever. So I'm surprised Gimmer started this up, so that must mean he's got some kind of uh, beef with yeah. D1, I think. So. We all had a couple drinks at the bar. I think he's just anxious to play. Yeah. <laughs> I introduced them to Blue Long Islands and Grateful Deads. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it, especially with the, an already <laughs> taxing weekend. <laughs> Just don't ever eat with D1. He'll steal all your french fries. Just a heads up, guys. Oh, I believe it. He's like a K. Brad Jr., if anybody gets that joke. <laughs> I love this uh, setup. It's so fresh, especially with the... Oh, it's beautiful. The stream looks great. Chat, Gamer, yeah. stream CEO. I'll always be working with that guy. He did a great job. He, too good, too professional. Yep. I was happy he got brought down by Alex. Yeah. Alex like, who should I bring to stream? Like, well, you have two choices, and one's not available. Yeah. So, Gimmer was a good choice. Uh, so, did we see if Gimmer's going Marth, or I know he has a Game & Watch. Oh, he's going Falco, okay. First, first two five? So, five stock. Five stock or five matches? No, five matches, stock. not Oh, stock. man, I got to sit through all that? Yeah. Crap. Well, it's first two five, so it could be nine matches. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I got uh, yeah, I got five on uh, D1. Oh yeah? Does Gimmer even play? Uh, yeah, he plays. I okay. think he might play um, PM more. My opinion is you'll be surprised by the people that work behind the scene because they have the natural ability to play these games. But when it comes to high level, we just we don't have it in us anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys get the uh, privilege of just getting able to watch you know these top players play all the time and talk yeah. about it. So. That's kind of a leveling process in itself. <sighs> so uh, I just got here. Uh, uh -huh. Got to reach the 48-hour record. Do we know? Uh, do we know how far he's gotten now? Is he I playing? have no idea. Yeah. It was 48 hours as of noon, I think. Noon or three. Okay. So give or take three hours. Add that to noon from today. We're at eight o'clock, so that means he's around either 56 or 59 hours. Yeah, that is crazy. He must be feeling it. So uh, we've already got. D1 kind of controlling the top platform and seeming to let Gimmer be in center stage. Like, watch. I think uh, I predict, predict him to continuously go high during the set. Right, he's got moves. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> it's the up tilt. Or, uh, I've actually never tech. seen him play, so I don't know what to expect. I played D1 last night. That yeah, didn't yeah. work out so well in my favor. I use Peach, <laughs> so my movement's not all that. Yeah. It's real hard to be fresh with Peach. Oh, did you see him catch that roll? That was oh, pretty yeah. nice. Here we go. Edgehog. Uh, yep. There Edgehog. Right there. Edgehog. Good shit. Falco is so weak off, off stage. <laughs> I always think it looks funny when Falco just runs after you. You know, he looks so <laughs> determined. Uh, we got an early early lead here with D1. That was a recovery. That off. was not an Edgehog. <laughs> yeah. He had no reason to Edgehog. He gets the tech read. <laughs> yep. Nice standard down smash to cover illusion to the ledge. Kimmer just tries to run through him during his invincibility. Has no fear. Oh, internet oh. went out on the chat, so we can't read your chat. Sorry. All right. And somehow D1 manages to fall behind in this, even though he had a full stock lead. And now he's off stage. <laughs> I think these guys are just playing a little <laughs> risky right now. They're feeling loose. We got a tech chase uh -oh. opportunity here. Oh, baits out the up smash and beats it. I don't know if the stream's on, because this isn't working. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how to tell us. So I can't help you very much. Hey, uh, Cherry, can you check make sure the stream's on? Because the internet on the iPad cut out. You sure? Just checking. So at this point, Gimmer can die from pretty much anything. But D1 is off stage. He's going hide for sure. And there's no way Falco's going to be able to get to that with his stubby little legs. So... This is looking like a pretty even match right now. Any hit up. Is this it? Off stage. The double jump's gone, but D1 is way back in the middle of the stage for some reason. This should be death. Just up. Oh, the slow get up is a little too fast. Everybody's kind of choking right now. We're playing real <laughs> slow. <laughs> well, they got five matches to, uh, 
to get better. Yeah. Uh, the random, random back air from D1, but he gets a nice tech. Almost dies from up tilt, which is amazing. This match is going much too far. Gimmer trying to edge guard with up smash. Edge hog. Yeah. <laughs> and this should be death. Look at that, how far that back air sets up, but he's just getting off the ledge. This is a discount ledge story right now. Forward tilt. Here we go, edge hog. And yeah, good edge hog. Good edge hog. Good edge hog. Wait, Gimmer won that one? He actually won yes. the game? Wow. Yeah. Maybe I should have taken that $5. Yeah. Gimmer, I want you next. Somebody just hopping in as Peach? What's going on here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, no internet there, so that's out. So we're taking it to Yoshi's story, and I think this is the uh, quickest and dirtiest stage in the whole game. You just end matches very fast and usually brutally on the stage. And there's a lot of RNG. I like fast-paced matches. Wow. And there we go. Good stuff to D1. Look at that. 50, like 18 seconds in the first stock is gone. That's what I'm talking about. Quick and dirty. Ooh, even dirtier. Ooh, nice read by D1. And he's looking to definitely take this game. <laughs> so I'm going to call it 1-1. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to play Gamer. I'll have a better chance. Yeah. <laughs> D1's gotten to play with that New York crew for so long. Going to the up air tech chases, but he can't really follow up with that kind of trajectory. This is a free back air, and he gets the stock. And he's going to go play on Randall. Illusion to the ledge? Nope. Tries to taunt cancel. D1 is all over that. Here we go. We got some. Oh, why did you let go of the ledge? It was so cute. No shine follow ups. Up smash. Gimmer really likes his up smash. I don't know. Maybe he just likes the way it feels. And there we go. So Twitch chat no longer let you pause it and just go chat? Aw. There's no pause button. Anyways, back to the match. Sorry. So we got a quick two-stock lead from D1 yes. here. He's looking to wrap it up. And Kimmer's off the stage. Getting hit a lot. Now he's at 30, 50%, so he can't really afford any more trades for the rest of this match. <laughs> and I can read commentary again, or uh, chat again, guys. So somebody goes, this is looking like match Smash 4. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love when you push people off on Randall. I feel like that's a pristine opportunity for some Trixies, but people haven't uh, gotten to that level yet. <laughs> I think the only reason I picked Peach is when I used to play with Fox or Falco, I would just kill myself too much, moving away too fast. Yeah, they're like little rocks. Yeah. They just plummet. It's uh, all about control. When I was a young newbie Falcon, Falcon man, I also just launched myself off the stage at almost every opportunity and died very often. You gotta go for those knees though, you know? They feel too good. <laughs> Randall is right there, but he's not gonna help. Gimmer's looking to bring this back. Nice. Down throw, tech chase read. Bah, got it. Solid and up. it's dead. Shine is so good for tech chase. I mean, one frame, what more can you ask, right? And Ooh, that was close. D1's looking to just... Bet you this bag of M&M's. Oh, they're empty. Oh, there's yeah. M&M's left. I'll bet you these two... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's too late. I would have taken the bet, though. No, I won. 1-1. <laughs> one, Gamer one. holds up his fingers to me. Hmm, D9. And already D1 is off to a good start. So M &M scores 1-1 one, one right now. Taking its Pokemon Stadium. This is the opposite of Quick and Dirty. Except for inside the transformations, things can get real dirty. They just tech skill each other to death. Now, are these their main characters, by the way? Uh, well, I think D1 kind of just plays both space animals. Um, so I think he could play Falco or Fox. Gimmer, he's, he has a game and watch. He likes to play uh, the low tier hero role, yeah. but I think he knows that game and watch is going to have a, a rough time against the better players. So I think he tends to go Falco when he is playing against somebody hard. Nice. Oh, throwing in a ton. I like it. I like it. I saw a match, I think at Evo, uh, of him against Gato, actually, and he went Game & Watch. Uh, so he does go Game & Watch against higher level players. Edgehog. Yeah. Oh, I should have edgehogged. See, you know better than Gimmer, apparently. Yeah. It's all about edgehogging. Gimmer also plays Marth, thank you. Yes, yeah, I've seen his Marth <laughs> in PM. I, I don't know if I've seen it in Melee, though. Maybe at the Xanadu tournaments. Playing up on the windmill, that's what I like. Let's see. 
If Falcon F smashes at the perfect time on the windmill, he'll teleport like a thousand feet into the air. Nice. That's pretty cool. Don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it's pretty hard to do. I, I stole it from Lord on NorCal. Edgehog. 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 Yes. You don't even need to. He's so far away. <laughs> Falco is like, he's got clipped wings. Tech roll into stage. Gets Gimmer Croc, or stage control. You gotta look for the double jump from Fox. Uh, he doesn't even use it. Just side beast to the ledge. <laughs> Standing laser nice. right in the back of the head like a gangster. <laughs> I would look for. I, I want more uh, tight tech chases from D1. He's kind of letting Gimmer out. Edgehog. Edgehog. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I really don't commentate anything. I could learn, but then I'd be too busy. Yeah. Oh, tried to edge recover, but couldn't pull it off. This light shield, you see that? He's just trying to keep himself safe from all angles. Nice. Ooh, nice shine pickup. Is this death? Nope. Oh, that shine stopped it. I can't believe it. Kimber's making a comeback right now. Just going crazy on those buttons. Nice. Yeah, nice. Ups. Up smash. Yep. I was going to say, I always call it up kicks. Yeah. For the backflip. Somehow misses that. <laughs> <laughs> the walk mind games. Hedgehog. Backer? Yeah. Nice. Hedgehog again. Got ourselves a real match. Scores 1-1, one, one, first to five, so... It's usually whoever wins like the third or fourth game takes the momentum. Yeah, I would agree. These are pretty pivotal, pivotal matches. Looks like oh. D1's got it. Yep. Game two to D1. Early kill with the up air. <laughs> Please stop saying Edgehog. Okay, I won't say it anymore. No more Edgehogs. What's the real name for it? Uh, just Edge Guards, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. We, we, but uh, there's lots of complicated things that go into Edge Guards. You gotta hit him with the right moves. He's teching to recover there, so it makes it a little bit harder. Edge Guard. Yep. Let's see. Oh, FD is a, a pretty volatile matchup. Uh, for the spaces because Falco can combo Fox pretty much to death off of any shine if he does it really well. And Fox has a pretty good chain grab on Falco, so uh, both of them can bop each other pretty hard. You know, I never knew until I think it was CEO this year that Peach had a good uh, grab combo against yeah. Fox. Yeah, chain grab. Yeah, she just kills him. Yeah. Combos him into up throw nair at late percent. It doesn't work the same on uh, Falco. Uh, I think it, it it's probably different, uh, a little bit different percents, but it has the same kind of effect. Yeah, you can you can still chain Falco. Nice. You can even chain grab Falco in my character. So any fastballer. Yeah. What goes up must come down. D1 with a little tonic. Yeah. See, so he died well out of those lasers, so Falco doesn't get a throw follow up. It's getting pretty tight tech chases now. Both of these players are playing a little lowercase, not capitalizing as much as they uh, could be on these tech chase opportunities. D1 tries to go for a preemptive dash attack and misses, but gets nice. a reverse back air. And gets to go. The recovery on the side of the map. Yeah. Just say everything but Edgehog. Whoops. <laughs> it's looking like D1's really trying to take a dominating lead in this set. If he takes this game, it's 3 1. Hard to come back momentum. from that. Yep. Reads the roll into stage. Gimmer trying to shoot some lasers over his head. See if he can cut his hair for him. Good recovery. Ooh, this is a bad situation for Falco. Good drop kick. Ooh, nice up smash. 
calls him out with that up yep. smash. Says, you're coming to me. 3-1 to D1. Give or take him. Oh, they're just going random. They're not even counterpicking. Ooh, already with a quick up air. Gimmer is reading those rolls this whole set. Another roll? No roll that time. Ooh, nice. You see how uh, Gimmer is like jumping above the platform and then dropping through it with a back air. And that's kind of tricky because most uh, lower level players will only land on the platform and then drop through it with a back air. And so it's a different timing mix up. I remember M2K had his whole ranking uh, saying Falco is the best character in the game. In this matchup on paper, is Falco the better play better character? Uh, well, it's hard to say because if, like, people always want to make the argument that if any character is played perfectly, then Fox is going to be, like, unbeatable because he's so fast and yeah. he has, they both have the one frame shine and everything like that, and Fox has, he can follow up on pretty much anything, but, uh, Alex, Everybody's what? freaking out. They're, they're trying to start up a uh, crew battle, Mango versus the Babs, in which uh, bad players have 32 stocks, and Mango has 12. So we'll see how that goes. It sounds like Mango is going to tap. Sorry, they are setting up a Mango versus bad players, as he called it. Not my words, not my words. Uh, we get 32 stock, Mango gets 16. So another bo a boss rush mode with a uh, handicap set in. Uh, so anyways, um, yeah. I think Fo Fox wins on paper, but in my experience, uh, Falco players tend to give Fox players a hard time because they have a lot of control. In with human error uh, counted in, you it's easy to take control with lasers and stuff like that and combo pretty easily. So. Nice. Nice edge guard. Didn't say it. Didn't say it. <laughs> Gimmer's pretty much got to win this match or else he's going to lose the set because it's going to be real hard to make that kind of comeback. So this last stock is really important. 3 2 or 4 1, what do you want? <laughs> Up, oh, Gimmer puts himself in a bad spot. Almost gets shine spikes. He's still trapped in the corner. Now he's on the top platform. D1 is controlling center stage pretty well. Tech chase opportunity is dropped, but D1 is able to pick it up again. Gimmer's letting himself be too open to uh, getting hit again after his tech chases. Up smash our shield? No, nothing. Uh, nice power shield by D1. Oh. I want to see his get-up attacks get punished a little harder, but... Uh, Me and Gamer are two out of three, and then... Ooh, nice shot on shield. Oh, and that is it. 4-1 for D1. He's looking to steamroll this match set. Point. All right, I'm going to get off commentary so I can warm up. Uh, what's his name in the hat? Uh, that is Articanus. Articanus. You ready to commentate? I'm going to pass it over to a real commentator, guys. Thank you again for donating and supporting the Gaming Nights and the Sauce event. Uh, so you'll see me on stream suck it up to Gamer. I, I think if you just keep practicing it, it'll, it'll be no problem. Like, just find where the dead zone ends and practice just going into that over and over again. And you can do that with just dropping down and re-grabbing. So uh, just get familiar with the controller's dead zone. Yo, what's up, stream monsters? We got Articanus so you know and go. Gravy like, on the mic. How y'all doing today? Memory, you'll be fine, I think. See if we can... Get the chat going on. Oh, there's a password on this iPad. We cannot get the chat, but who cares? So right now we are going to have Mango versus quote unquote bad players after this game. It's gonna be really interesting. Um, the requirements for being a bad player is that you have to be playing, have played for less than like three months competitively. So we shall see how it goes. I believe Mango gets about a quarter of the stock that everyone else does. Like, I think it's, um, he gets a total of 12 stock, and the bad players get probably around 48 or something like that. Something insane like that. 
Y'all should have seen the crowd though. The crowd was huge. I, I tried to get in the crowd and then he was just and Rage and Terry looked at me and was like, Get out of here. What are what are you doing here? But uh Right now though, we do have the D1 versus Gimmer first to five going. How's the set going? I went and got a drink. So uh, the set is four one in D one favor. Uh, that is awesome. Yeah. Uh, wow. I think. I think. Uh, or it's in D one's favor. I don't know if yeah. I said Gimmer, but I think Gimmer won the first match. Yeah, Gimmer then, won the first match. I was here for that, but and then D one has just taken it since then. That's awesome. D one got the downloads. Yeah, and they've played on practically every map at this point. So that's awesome. All right, so. D1 got center stage control, but got up tilted, fortunately, into a kill. Yeah, I've noticed that Gimmer likes to stay on the platforms more, and, and D1 kind of takes center stage, which is maybe why he's been having trouble. Yeah, but. I definitely, um, I definitely like Fox when he's just dash dancing in the middle. Yeah, able to react. Like, look at that right there. So definitely gets, gets the quick. That was a really good There's, tech. They've been doing good techs this whole time, actually. That always seems really weird. There's like, the, there's like, you get like higher up, and you kind of forget the tech for yeah, a little bit, yeah. and then you get. Not to say they're definitely not bad players, but just like they're n they're, they're no Mewtwo King, but and they they've got those techs on lockdown though. It's kind of scary. Yeah, I, yeah. I for one can't tech for life, man. I don't know. I, I gotta just. I've got periods where I can just I can tech five in a row, and then I and then I've got years where I can't tech at all. Yeah. But um, let's see. See, so, yeah, I've been noticing they they don't have that tight of tech chases. Uh, usually, it seems like D1 covers like. In place and towards him mostly, but it, tech rolls away are just getting uh, yeah. Just Gimmer uh, Gimmer is definitely a lot more about like the guaranteed follow-ups. Like earlier, he got him on the platform, and instead of going for like a shine follow-up, yeah, he went with the down smash, smash yeah. to cover all the options, which is definitely a unique choice among Falcos of this day. I just feel like the down smash. I don't really like it that much because it kind of lets him go. I, w I, w I wish the down smash had knocked him off stage. Yeah, inst yeah. Instead of knocking him towards the middle of the stage, but or, or he just goes onto the ledge, you know, sometimes. But he's gonna get the bear, and that's gonna take the next. Yeah. Day. All right, two to four. We got the comeback. Yep, we might get the comeback. I know D1 see. was looking to just close it out there. He's probably. I love D1's murder face. D1 has the best. Mur Look at him. Yeah. He, he like laughed for a moment, and he's just like ready to go. And, and also, watch when Gimmer like start. You can tell when he's getting hype about his own combos because he start he starts jumping. Yeah, yeah, he's a very. Uh, he he shows his hype pretty well. Right on his sleep. All right, cool. D1's definitely got the pressure going on. Love it. The very good dash dance back to bait out the dare and then gets a sweet punish afterward. Ooh, I want to see more aggression towards Falcons up B, though. You know, he's just. He's like, he, he, he lets them get back on, but you know what? Sometimes it's a bit risky because you might react a bit too early and try and, and get hit by a side B or something. So, you yeah. know what? Staying on the stage and maintaining control is sometimes the way to go. Especially. Oh. oh, look at that. Oh, That's that awesome. Nice. He yeah. just waits. D1's just so patient, waiting for everything. Ooh. Gimmer with the shine grab, though, attempt. First world problem. Step. I wanted to shine grab him, but he got hit by the shine. Yeah. <laughs> D1 was doing some shine out of shields, getting out of his uh, look, pressure like that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I would have been impressed if he did like a shine wave dash out of shield. That would have been sick. He got the grounded shine, though. <laughs> Let's yeah. see some wall jumps. I. I want to bet on wall jumps that are about to happen in just a moment. I don't think it's going to happen anymore. I don't, th <laughs> I don't think Falco should be able to wall jump. But I think that's like, he's too, like, derpy. He doesn't deserve the wall jump. Look at him. He's I'm surprised you said Fal- Ooh, D1 with the multi-shine. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. I can multi-Falcon kick. Nobody ever says anything about it, though. Yo, but the problem is you got to win your games when you do that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh man, um, actually, that's a really interesting game. Um, one of my friends is a pretty big advocate, actually, of shining afterward because, uh, as Falco, actually, if the fox is sh is shine based to try and reflect it back at you, you, yeah. you shore hop laser near them, and if you do the reflector, it actually breaks their shield afterward. It breaks their shield? Yeah, you can break the reflector. Actually, reflector has almost like its own sh um, shield indicator, like a regular shield, oh. but it refreshes depending on if the prick, if like, it refreshes constantly, it refreshes at a much faster rate than a regular shield. But you know how the reflectors make like the projectile stronger? stronger? Yeah. If it gets too strong, then it will break the reflector. 
Same thing from you two side B. What happens if, it, if you break their fucking? It's it's like a shield break. It's like a normal shield break. Wow, really? Yeah. Same every. What can I hit it with normally to do that? Can I like two Samus charge shots or something at the same time? Will that do it? Mm, I don't know. I've never seen that before. Um, the most common ones involve usually like. I've seen like a Mario Fireball plus reflector, and then like the the cape back and forth, and the oh, yeah. and the cape plus reflector goes back and forth. You can actually break Mario's cape doing it that way too. Wow! All reflector style moves all work the same way. And the anti-air up smash finishing the set. the set. That's really awesome. Yo, good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right, I'm looking to get into it. I want to play some games. Yeah, but we're. I think next on stream we're gonna.